Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. <clears throat> clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Scorpios, please. All right, so we've got Aquarius energy, okay? So they could be an Aquarius, so they have Aquarius in their chart, or they just embody this energy. They're also showing up as house two, physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. Okay, nice. What they like about you is Leo energy. Okay. And we also, what we need to know about this connection is Pisces. Okay, so we have Pisces, Leo, and Aquarius coming through really strong. They like that you're self-confident, that you're loyal, that you're creative. All of that is Scorpio energy as well as Leo energy. Um, and this is going to be an intimate connection where there's compassion and a lot of intuition. Nice. And we get the South Node, so destined to release. So the South Node is oftentimes the lessons we've already learned or, you know, what we're releasing now in this lifetime. Some of you, this is an indication for me as a reader <clears throat> that for my Scorpios, this is a past life connection. So it may be, no, it is possible you've released this person, but my intentions for this reading is that it's somebody completely brand new. So a lot of you, there's going to be a sense of familiarity that you've, you've known this person before, um, even, you know, even when you haven't. Um, so we get this beautiful Aquarius energy coming through in, in this person's energy. So their originality, philanthropy, progression, progressive imagining. So thinking outside of the box, you know, Aquarius energy is definitely about doing things differently. Um, you know, it's just such a free spirited, beautiful energy here. Um, you know, Aquarius energy is also very creative and it's also very loyal, um, intelligent energy. And the star card, this could be exactly what you've been hoping for. They're showing up as the eight of wands. So this person is somebody who's got a lot going on. All right, Scorpio, they, they make it look easy. You know, they can, they've got their finger in a lot of different pies. They've got, you know, they're spinning a lot of different plates. Um, and they make it look easy. They just deal with everything seamlessly and elegantly. Um, the eight of wands just tells me too, like things may move really quickly between you and this person. And there's another nod to this being some sort of past life soulmate connection with the Six of Cups. And like I said, Scorpios, my intentions for these readings are that it's some it's somebody completely brand new, but I'm not going to lie. I can't lie. We have the South Node and the Six of Cups can be a reconciliation for a very, very select few of you. All right. And we see the Queen of Wands. So there's a very fiery, very passionate energy. Um... For some of my Scorpios, this could be somebody you thought was just, this was just going to be a fling that ends up being more. All right. Um, but six of cups tells me there's a sweet and there's a sweetness and there's an innocence to this person and to this connection. And I feel like they're also really crushing on you. Um, so it could, it could also be a secret admirer. Okay. Um, they're also imagining, you know, they're building some castles in the sky here about you, Scorpio. All right, or, or they will be early on within this connection. All right, so we see passive. So that they're okay with letting others take the lead and make decisions. So I do feel, I don't think this is their energy always, right? Because to me, Aquarius energy isn't passive. Not to say that they are an Aquarius, but they have this strength and they have this fixed energy, which is definitely also like a step up and take the lead type energy. But I feel like when you meet them, they're in the Six of Cups energy. They're admiring you from afar. Um, they're crushing on you. They've got really sweet feelings. And they're kind of probably feeling you out, waiting to see, you know, what's up with you, how you feel. Um, all right, we see Daddy's Girl. So for some of you, this person may have a close-knit relationship with their father. Um, my readings are not gender-specific. So, you know, this can also indicate maybe they have a child. 
or they're a single parent, or maybe they've recently lost a parent, or they just have a very close-knit relationship with their father in particular. And they've got this intense energy, which I feel my Scorpios are going to be right at home with, right? The depth of this person's thoughts and emotions indicate a high intellect and a strong focus on their subject. So whatever they do, they're passionate about, they put their all into, and that includes their relationships and most likely you. And look at that, we get Pisces energy coming out twice. So beautiful, beautiful confirmation for some of my Scorpios out there that this could be a Pisces or they have strong Pisces in their chart. And it may also be an indication of a time frame here for you. And we are smack dab in the middle towards the end of Pisces season, right? So there's definitely an air of mystery around this person. They can be quiet, but their thoughts and emotions run deep. And I feel that that is perfect sort of confirmation of that passive energy message that I was getting there. So we see house two, physical security. Some of you, this person might work as security, whether that's a door person or, you know, like loss prevention is what's coming through, or maybe even like as, you know, police or military. Um, but I, more so, Scorpio, I feel like this person is going to, you're going to feel safe in their presence. And we feel safe with people that we can trust and also people who are, who have this level of intensity that make us feel like they've got our back. All right. Um, this person has a strong sense of self-worth. They, they may be at times be a little bit possessive, but again, I don't think my Scorpios are going to mind that because it doesn't come out, it doesn't seem to be coming from a place of insecurity. It's more like this person's going to step up and be like, yeah, Scorpio's mine. Like they're going to be very decisive about that. Now, Scorpio, this person may be European or have European roots. <clears throat> again, physical attributes and very specific messages since I'm reading for a lot of you, are not going to resonate with all of you, but they will be confirmation for some of you. Okay, they could have curly hair. I'm also seeing this person, not for all of you, okay, but for some of you, this person had really curly blonde hair when they were a kid. They may not anymore, or if they do have a child, I just see curly blonde hair. Again, not for all of you, so if that's not, it doesn't work for you, that's fine, and they're going to be funny as heck, so you're going to be, you're, you two are going to laugh a lot, all right? I love that. What a beautiful way to like break any tension. It's just like fun and upbeat. They're also a creative or artistic either for their career or something they do, you know, in their free time. I feel like my Scorpios, you're probably going to fall pretty hard for this person. Um, they could be an aqua Pisces cusp. All right. So just, um, just be aware of that. And let's see, how else will my Scorpios be able to identify this person? I'm seeing, you know... I'm seeing these four candles. I'm seeing these as four of wands energy, 1111. Pay attention to that number sequence with this person. Again, strong, strong connection here. So tell us more about this person coming towards Scorpio, please. Okay, your paths will cross when a holiday is in season. All right. It can be any type of celebration, though. I mean, this could be going over to, a, to celebrate a friend's birthday or going out for drinks for a raise, um, celebrating a raise or a promotion. They are going to step up and ask you out. Yeah, because they're not in this passive role for long. I think you're going to realize they've been admiring you or in this passive role longer than you realize, preparing to ask you out, but to step up and take the lead. This person... Um, Again, I keep seeing that like curly blonde hair for some of you. It feels like you might see a baby picture of them or maybe they show you a baby picture with that. But I'm seeing this like yellow blonde color. So there could be somebody who's really important in bringing you two together that has blonde hair. Or, you know, the color yellow. Maybe they're wearing the color yellow here when you meet them or that's their favorite color. They definitely have a unique smile. All right. And let's see, and they're physically active. Again, something about the color yellow, strong solar plexus energy. So again, they're in this, and that's that house two energy too, right? Which is like this sense of like security. Um, you know, it's like the, this person has ambition, determination, um, you know, courage. They're definitely going to step up and ask you out. And we see, ooh, it could become, it could be that they're a fire sun sign. So possibly Leo in particular. Okay. Um, all right. And let's see, clear messages, advice, and guidance for my Scorpios. What else do they need to know about this person? What else do they need to know about this person? Lovers. Oh yeah. Number 15, your physical 
connection is going to be off the charts. I mean, sparks are going to fly. This is going to be sexy. This is going to be passionate. You're not going to be able to keep your hands off of each other. Um, also the whole world is going to drop away when you two are together, you know, like friends or people around you might get a little annoyed <laughs> because you're going to lose, you're going to lose yourselves in each other. This can also be a nod to Gemini energy. And look at that with house, beautiful messages here. A lot of you, you may be moving in together, building something solid, stable, and secure. I also feel you're going to have a comfortable lifestyle with one another. I love this. Scorpios, you deserve this. This is the type of energy you truly deserve. All right. So they love your Leo energy, right? So some of you could have Leo in your chart, but those of you that don't, they just see you as very kind and helpful. They see you as loyal. They see you as the star of the show. Leo energy is passionate, sexy, attractive, um, self-confident, uh, creative. And we see this person is also creative. So they're going to really like that, if not even need that in a partner. Um, you know, you are each other's kind of weird is what I'm hearing, right? Um, we see star seed Aries energy. So they see you as a fresh start. So for a lot of you, this is a, a confirmation. It is somebody completely brand new. Um, you might do energy work and, and they're going to be, they're going to really like that or be really drawn to that. Um, this person sees you as very passionate. They see you as positive that you're just so exciting for them. You, and, and this Aries energy, you know, Aries is the first sign of the Zodiac and it's about trying things, doing things differently. And the, the Aquarius energy that I was getting from this person is they're going to really like that. They're going to find you like, you know, wild. They're going to find you adventurous. They're going to find you as like, you know, somebody who, who also likes to think outside of the box, also likes to dance to the beat of their own drum. And we see the three of crystals. Yeah. And they see you also as hardworking, but this is the three of pentacles. They see you as compatible in so many different ways. They see you as on the same path. And look at that more Leo energy. Ooh. So yeah, very, very strong Leo energy. Some of you could have a South node in Leo, or maybe they do. Um, or one of, one of your South node or your North node in Leo, um, Leo Aquarius axis coming through strong. They see you, they see you as the one, they see you as somebody so compatible. And some of you, like I said, you might work together. I'm almost getting like a little flustered here because <laughs> it's just like, it's, it just feels like it's so good. It feels like you two are really, really good for each other. You know, two peas in a pod type energy. Okay. So what else do they love about my Scorpios? camera. Some of you could be photographers. Um, they also spend a lot of time looking at your pictures and they're also ready to make new memories. Yeah. All right. Some of you, someone here might be like, might do like professional grade photography. All right. I'm also getting like web design, like design. All right. So they also, okay. So this, I'm reading these cards intuitively because what they like about you is like, we see the golden mirror. You reflect something back at them that they really love. And not to say that they're they see themselves in you. That's what they love about you. <laughs> but I do think to a degree, yeah. I mean, I think there, there's, there's compatibility here and you, you see in someone something you can really, really relate to. And I also feel, you know, the golden mirror, oftentimes we will read this card as like kind of pompous or egotistical or self-centered, but I don't, I'm not getting that from this card. Cause again, this is what they like about you. I think they just see you as the shit, Scorpio. You know what I mean? They see you as getting a lot of attention, looking really good. Um, yeah. And and like they, they like the way you look. They're definitely physically attracted to you. They're definitely happy to have you on their arm or by their side. Like you probably look really good together. And they feel like you have the key to their heart. Yeah. And you're you're probably opening up this person's heart chakra. Um, yeah. And it's like getting together feels perfect. See, there's that mirror energy. Some of you might work in a place or run into a place where there are a lot of mirrors is kind of what I'm getting. Like, I don't know if somebody's listening to this and you're kind of like, I'm seeing somebody like check themselves out before they go on the floor, like wherever they work. So I don't know if that's like retail. I don't know if that's like a, a store, um, or you just have a lot of mirrors. I'm also seeing ballet, like a bar. So some of you might do a bar class or some of you might do ballet or maybe this person does. I don't know. I just, that's what I'm getting. Um, but something here about mirrored energy, again, you two mirroring each other would make the most sense, but, um, Scorpio, this feels fantastic. All right, let's see. So we've got Pisces energy coming through. This is what else we need to know. 
Um, so you both might have Pisces in your chart, but there's it's going to be such an intimate telepathic connection, um, a lot of love and compassion. It's very sweet, very romantic vibes here, Scorpio. And overcoming challenges. So you two, it's like we're in it together. This is definitely a ride or die type relationship. I feel you're both going to present that type of energy. Healing one another. Wow. Okay. Scorpios. <laughs> yes, please. And long distance love. So some of you, you know, there could be distance here between, between the two of you. I kind of feel like this person with that six of cups energy has been loving you from afar or loving you for a long time before they actually come forward. And you and this person, three of pentacles have this shared vision for the future. I mean, seriously, Scorpio, this reading is fantastic. Uh, so good. So good. All right. It's a good day to be a Scorpio, right? Okay. Um, and I feel you two are destined for each other. I mean, that's very clear. Okay. So I, you know, I saw this card. I, I, I literally saw this card before I flipped it over. You may be dealing with a karmic situation. So some of you, there could be some sort of third party that tries to intervene. Again, people are going to be triggered by this type of relationship, Scorpio, because with this lover's card, they're like in stone. They're like so connected forever, eternally connected. Everything else drops away. They're not even noticing, you know, the, the dove there or dove or pigeon there on the leg. So it's like, I do feel like some people are going to be getting a little bit annoyed by, by your connection. But again, let the haters hate, <laughs> you know, everybody can run their own race. I don't think it really matters to you. I'm not getting that there's an ex or that this is a player or anything like that. Yeah. we get healing connection. Yeah. So, but I do feel some people are going to be triggered by this relationship, but just let it go. Don't, don't let it bother you. Obviously it's important to maintain the relationships that are important to you. But again, just a forewarning, fair warning that people are, People are going to be triggered by this type of love, the intensity of this type of love. But you know what? It feels so good, Scorpio. All right, let's see. Can we have some important dates for my Scorpios, please? Slow movement. Okay, one more. November. Some of you are November Scorpios. In the coming years. So it's definitely a connection that's meant to last. It will be happening this year. Now, maybe it might take until November. I don't think so, though. Like I said, feels like this person's probably already around you in some capacity or admiring you. Uh, now, maybe there is a third-party situation that needs to be closed out before they come towards you. I mean, that certainly could be the case, but this is, this is your connection, Scorpio. This is your connection. So let me know how it resonates down below. I love reading your comments. Um, and if you're after a private reading or you like the cards I'm using, or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that info is down below. All right, Scorpios, love and light. Take care.